Hello everyone, welcome to two-factor authentication course. In this video, I am going to explain you how to enable the 2FA in Spring Boot OR2 security authorization server. I hope you guys have seen my previous videos to create a authorization server by using Spring Boot OR2 security. If you guys are not watched that video, so please watch that video and then develop the authorization server. That video link has been given in the description section. So please watch that video. After you enable the, I mean, after you develop the Spring Boot Security OR2 authorization server, it will be an easy to enable the two factor authentication in the authorization server. Now I am going to explain you the step by step how to add the authentication, I mean, how to enable the two-factor authentication in Spring Boot OR2 security authorization server. So these are the steps I am going to follow. Already, I created the user model contains the user attributes. Along with that, I am going to add the user 2FA attributes in user entity model. The second step, I am going to add the user 2FA attributes in custom user model object that class can be exchanged spring security user details user object and then next one is the fetch the 2fa attributes from the dao all the 2fa attributes we are storing in the 2f uh, in the database for example whether the user have the 2fa is enabled or not and then which 2fa has, has been preference as a default preference such as mail or sms so those details we are stored in the database so those details we have to fetch it from the database and then we need to add it in the custom user model object that extends the user details user object and then i am going to fetch the token by using oart token api the first step i am going to show you how to add the 2fa user attributes in user entity model before that already the authorization server is running in my machine i am going to show you that Look at here, already authorization server is running in the 8080 port. Now I'm getting a OR token. This OR token is a JWT token. Okay, so I got the access token and then refresh token. Here in this token, we appended the other attributes such as the user ID, first name, last name, country, mobile, user type, and then the JTI. Okay. And also if you get the username you will get an email address so here we added the country mobile number and everything the username we use email id so if i get the username i will get an email id from this token okay and also we need to add some more attributes here such as that is whether the user have the 2fa is enabled or not and then what is the default preference is like a sms or email so those two attributes I'm going to add it in the JWT access token. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to add those two attributes while getting an access token. Already said I have first step, I need to add the user attributes, I mean the 2FA attributes in the user entity model. So this is the user entity model which contains the user attributes. Okay, now I am going to get the I mean going to add the other attributes such as uh, 2FA is enabled or not those cases okay private this is the database the column name we used is 2FA enabled is 2FA enabled and then other attributes 2FA code and 2FA expired time 2FA code and 2FA expired time is needed to update when we are sending the 2FA code to the end user and then for this authorization server uh, we required only 2FA is enabled or not and then what is the default type 2FA default type whether it is an email or SMS 2FA default type so I created these two variables here private string is 2FA enabled and 2FA default type. 
so here the column name we use to fa default type so we can't start with number the variable name so i am going to use like to fa default type so can we follow the same thing here also is to fa enabled okay if the to fa is enabled or not we can find it from this variable what is the default to fa type whether it's sms or email we can find it from this variable okay now i am going to create a setter and getter method for these uh, two attributes generate getters and setters okay so this is the first step i said you previously we need to add the to user 2fa attributes in the user entity model so the first step we completed the next step is add user 2fa attributes in custom user model that extends spring security user detail user object there is a class i am using custom user that class is extends the spring security user detail user object there is a class called custom user this class extends the spring security user object okay here i am going to add those two variables so what are the variables we are use is 2fa enabled the 2fa default type okay now i am going to create a setter and getter method for these two variables in the custom user class so generate getters and setters okay i created the setter method and getter method for these two attributes and also in the constructor we have to set the value to fa default type equal to user dot get to fa default type likewise this dot is to fa enabled equal to user object dot get to fa enabled okay so for this custom user object i mean the constructor we pass the user entity object so from this user entity object we are getting the 2fa default type and then the tfa enabled here okay so far we added the u2fa user attributes in custom user object also next one fetch the 2fa attributes from the dao already i created the dao service class which get the details of user attributes here i am going to add the 2fa attributes in the user entity object so here user dot set is 2fa enabled result set dot get string of the column name we use is is 2fa enabled so look at here this is the column name is underscore 2fa underscore enabled is underscore 2fa underscore enabled okay the next user dot set 2fa default type what is the default 2fa type like whether it's an sms or email so the column name we use 2fa underscore default underscore type 2fa underscore default underscore type okay this is the column name so far we added the user 2fa attributes in the user object and we are fetched from the database okay the last step is fetch the token by using over token api now i am going to rerun the application once again okay now we can get the 2fa attributes in the or token already the authorization server is running in my machine now i stopped that now i am going to run that authorization server once again okay it started running you can find the logs in the console window i am using a gradle application if you guys are using gradle use the gradle clean build command and you can find the jar file under the libs directory so look at here the tomcat is started on the port 8080 now i am going to get the over token once again now so here i am going to get the token for this user okay 
Look at here. I got the access token. So here in the access token, we did not get the details. So we need to add in the custom token enhancer class also. So usually the developers will make a mistake like this. So what happened, they will add the user attributes in the custom user object. They will fetch the data from the database, but they forgot to add the attributes in the custom token enhancer class. Now I'm going to add the 2FA attributes in custom token enhancer class also. I will show you the custom token enhancer class, how to add the 2FA attributes there. So after that only you can get the token. Uh, and, uh, after that only you can get the 2FA attributes in the access token. So here there is a custom token enhancer class we have written. So here we are at first name, last name, country, mobile, user type, everything. So here I need to add the 2FA enabled and what is the default user preference type. So here I'm going to use user.get is 2FA enabled. If the user is 2FA enabled object is not null then you can add is 2FA enabled. Okay, same wise here you can get it user dot get 2FA default type. In the JSON attribute you can add 2FA default type. So here the user can get the 2FA default type. So usually the developers will make a mistake here. They forgot to add it the user attributes in the custom token enhancer class. This is very, very important to get the user attributes in the along with the access token. Okay, so now I got the 2FA enabled and then the 2FA default type. Now I am going to rerun the application once again. Now I am going to stop it and start once again. The authorization server is already running. I stop and now I started once again. Now the authorization server has started. Look at here the Tomcat started on the port 8080. Now I am going to get the token once again. Okay. So look at here. Now in the access token I can able to get the is 2FA is enabled or not and then the default 2FA type is email. And also now I am going to copy this access token. You can find these attributes, uh, I mean 2FA attributes in the access token also. You can pass the JWT token in the JWT IO website here. Now I am going to paste my access token. Okay. So look at here. In this token, I can able to see the is 2FA enabled is yes or no. And then the, what is the default? 2FA default type is email or SMS. I can able to get it now. So in the JWT parser token, after parsing the JWT token, so I can able to get the 2FA attributes in the access token. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. I will tell you how to send the SMS and then how to send the email for this user to get the 2FA code. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, like my videos and share my videos. Thank you.